in ninth problem you are given bank overdraft as per passbook as a result you are going to find out cash book balance you may end up it as overdraft you may end up end up as a favorable balance finally when your minus columns total is more we will say the balancing figure will be overdraft only if at all your plus column total is more we will ultimately say it has favorable balance as per cash book so what you are given you are given overdraft as per pass book so what we are going to find out we are going to find out cash book balance it may be overdraft or it may be favorable balance so we will write overdraft as per pass book and at the same time your brs is on which date it is on 31st march 2014 so that is your date on which you are preparing brs now moving on to the transaction transaction b states checks deposited in bank 5000 but only 2000 were collected whenever two amounts are there you have to be careful so checks deposited entry in which book pass entry is in cash book checks deposited will be a cash book entry 5000 so in pass book you have entered 2000 is entered now as a result what is entered here remove it so from 5000 if you remove 2000 ultimately 3000 remains so you can say 3000 is recorded in the cash book for which there is no record in the pass book so what is happening when you record 3000 here cash book balance is increasing by 3000 now here you are finding out cash book balance only it is increasing increasing by how much 3000 so when it is increasing you will add so whatever is the statement given there write it and enter 3000 in plus column sorry i didn't enter the overdraft so the overdraft is 6500 always enter overdraft in the minus column now moving on to the transaction c it is checks issued but not presented for payment checks issued not presented for payment 1500 so let us see where is checks issued in this format checks issued will be always on the payment side of your cash book so take it as 1500 so you gave check to someone these people did not collect the money from the bank as a result there will be no entry in the pass book so what is happening what will happen when you enter on the payment side of cash book cash book balance will come down now if you see we are finding out cash book only so cash book balance is coming down by how much 1500 so minus as a result the c transaction you will write and enter the amount 1500 in the minus column now let us move on to transaction d customer directly deposited in our bank 1200 now where are direct deposits the direct deposits is usually found on the receipt side of pass book so enter that amount and let us see what is the impact so how much is entered 1200 is entered so what will happen when you enter on the receipt side of pass book pass book balance will increase but we are finding out cash book balance so let us see what will be the impact if pass book balance is increasing cash book balance will come down or it remains constant so here we say when it is coming down you minus so transaction d is resulting in cash book balance decreasing so we enter it in minus column now moving on to transaction e moving on to transaction e we have bank charges insurance premium 300 
had been debited in the passbook only. So entry is in which book? Passbook. Debited means debit side entry. What are the items? Bank charges. So how much are bank charges here? 200. Similarly, insurance premium is nothing but a direct payment. So that also it has been entered here. So that means the net effect. What is the net effect? It is a 500. So the passbook balance will come down by 500 because the entry is on the payment side. So as a result, what will happen to cash book balance? Passbook balance is coming down. So we say cash book balance will increase by 500. So add. So how we will write this? I'll show it. You can write insurance premium. Insurance premium. Rupees. What is the amount of insurance premium? 300. And bank charges rupees 200 recorded in passbook only so that is why cash book balance will be more by 500 now moving on to transaction f Dividend 300 collected by bank has been credited in passbook only. We have already discussed whenever the word collection comes, it is a receipt item of either of the books. So here we will see dividend is usually recorded in which book first. As per our format, it will be recorded in the passbook first. So what is the amount? It is 300. It is 300. So as a result of this, your passbook balance will increase by 300. Which book balance you are funding out? You are funding out cash book balance. So what will happen to cash book balance when passbook balance is increasing? Cash book balance will decrease or 300. So minus. So transaction F, you need to minus 300. So enter 300 in this thing now let us total both the columns and see which column total is more the plus column total comes to 3500 whereas this is 1515 3000 9500 now 9500 is the total now 9500 is the total and ultimately it is you will have the minus total being more, so I am writing it on both the sides, 9500 minus 3500 is 6000. So since the minus column total was more, we say over the balance as the overdraft, so we say overdraft balance as per which book? Cash book. So this is how you solve your problem so you can continue with your 10th problem which again it is bank overdraft as per cash book so you try to solve it by yourself you will be able to do with this we complete brs